In this video we're going to look at creating and editing 2D slice files. Click on Project, Import CAD file, and browse to the location of the mold part. When the part has been opened, click Import to finish. We're going to make several copies of this part first. Click, right click, choose Duplicate. Enter the number of parts that you require, and then click the Duplicate button. Working with multiple parts, it's often easiest to create a group. Select all of the parts, and say Create Group from Selected Parts. Give the part a name that you'll remember. You can then select all of the individual parts and drag them onto the slicer. Set the size of the slicer in Z, the start and end positions, and then create the slices. Once the slices are generated, you can drag the slider to watch the parts being built slice by slice, or you can animate it. For further control, you can add your own hatching to the inside of the slice. Select Create Filling, choose the hatching you want, the spacing on the hatches, and hit OK. You can see now that the interior region has been cross-hatched in exactly the way you specified. Another useful function that you can achieve with the slicing the part is to create an offset. Again, we're going to add a part, this time a surface structure. Now we wish to offset this entire part by one millimeter. Not only would that be very time consuming, but also it would give us a very large amount of data to work with. Instead, we can do this purely in 2D. Drag the part onto the slicing tool. Again, set the thickness of the slices. And then see exactly how that has been sliced. can come to the Extras menu and say Create Offset. In this case, we're going to use an outward offset of one millimeter. This will take a few seconds, but it's still considerably faster than it would be if you try to offset a complete 3D model. When the offsetting is completed, right click to remove the original slices and now you can view the new slice set which you can output in whatever format best suits the machine you're actually going to be using. 